Hey gang, Pastor Hans here, and thanks for tuning in to The Daily Dose. Our theme this week on The Daily Dose is this, the struggle is real. The struggle is real. Our theme is all about worry. Uh, raise your hand. Do you have worries? Yeah. If you're breathing and you're human, you have plenty of worries, plenty of worries. Hey, uh, Halloween is coming up, so I thought I'd tell you about a worry that I have every year on Halloween. You see, it has to do with these things. Anybody know what these are? Reese's peanut butter cups. I love Reese's peanut butter cups. In fact, they are my absolute favorite treat. Uh, and if you promise not to tell anyone, I'll tell you what I do on Halloween. Uh, every year we take our kids out trick-or-treating. This year we'll bring them here to the church for trunk or treat and they'll go around to all the cars and I'm sure we'll go downtown and we'll go down the road and trick-or-treat, trick-or-treat. And at the end of the night, the kids, of course, will dump out all their candy. They'll take a look at it. They'll kind of sort it. They'll trade. And of course, from the corner of the room, I'll watch to see how many of these things are out there and who ends up with them. And I hate to admit this to all of you, please don't tell my kids I do this. After they go to bed, I steal them. I do, because these Reese's peanut butter cups are my favorite. I, every year I worry that there aren't gonna be enough Reese's peanut butter cups. I love them. Well, Jesus, uh, in the book of Matthew, he's talking with people about their worries, huh? And when he talks about worry, the very first topic he covers is money. Anybody ever worried about money? He, he says words like this. In the sixth chapter of Matthew, verse 24, he says, No one can serve two masters. No one can serve two masters, for a slave will either hate the one and love the other or be devoted to the one and despise the other. Now listen to this. You cannot serve God and wealth. The word for wealth in Greek is mammon. Do you know what the definition of mammon is? It's stuff. Hmm? And if there's one thing you and I know about this life, we worry about our stuff. We worry about uh, how much we have in our pocketbook. We worry about how much is in our IRA or, uh, or our retirement accounts. We worry about what we accumulate because we have been fooled into believing that what we have says something about who we are. We've been fooled into believing that what we have says something about who we are. You see, Jesus knew our worry. And the chief worry that most of us have has to do with our stuff, our wealth, how much we've accumulated. Jesus says, you can't serve both. A better translation would be, you can't love both. Or maybe to put it this way, you can't be devoted both to God and to your wealth, to your stuff. You got to choose. He goes on to say, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink or about your body, what you will wear. He gets specific with all the things that people in those, that ancient world must have worried about. I wonder what he would say to people like you and me about our worries when it comes to our wealth and our stuff. He'd probably look at you and look at me and say, Hey, quit worrying. Quit worrying about the number in your checking account. Quit worrying about how fat your wallet is. Quit worrying about how many toys fill your garage and how big your garage is. Quit worrying about the size of your house, the size of your storage shed, the number of acres you have, the number of lakeshore footage you have. Would you quit worrying about that? He gets specific with those ancient people. He goes on and he says these poignant words. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? It's like he looks at you and me and says, come on. Isn't your life worth more than all this stuff, all these things, all that you've accumulated? He goes on in Matthew chapter 6 verse 24. 26. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? 
And he goes on. And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? You see, Jesus knows when we look at all we've been blessed with, the world is telling us again and again, it's never enough. It's never enough. It's never enough. We never fully are able to see how blessed we've been. And so he goes on. He says, and, we're, and why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? see, what I think Jesus is trying to get us to do is to step back, to step back from the hustle, to step back from our busyness, to step back from all the commercials and the advertisements we see each and every day that try and tell us that we don't have enough and fill us with, with worry again and again and again. He's trying to get us to step back. And see that in this great big Halloween basket, there are more than enough Reese's peanut butter cups, if you know what I mean. You see, what I think Jesus is doing is, is trying to get us to step back to see all that we, we've been blessed with. It's not a popular thing to do in our world. This passage I just read from Matthew chapter 6, verses 24 through 26, it's read every year on Thanksgiving Eve. It's a passage that for hundreds of years have been read uh, on Thanksgiving Eve. Why is it read on Thanksgiving Eve? Well, it's read then because I think Jesus would have us on this day when we celebrate all that we're blessed with and giving thanks would have us step back in order for us to gain more perspective and to see all we've been blessed with. You see, what do you do when you start worrying about money? How do you cure that unquenchable desire for more? You see, I think when we start worrying about wealth, the one anecdote for our worry is this. Step back. See all God's blessed you with. <laughs> all, that, all that really matters. Your kids, your family, your friendships. You got a roof over your head. Step back. See all God's blessed you with and give thanks. If there's one antidote for our worry about our wealth, it's giving thanks. It's gratitude. It's being able to look at God and say, thank you. Thank you for all I have. Folks, thanks for tuning in to The Daily Dose today. Uh, I hope you appreciated it. If you did, would you share it with a friend? If you're watching on YouTube, hit the little bell. You'll get notifications every time we post a, a new video. And last but not least, if you're watching on cable uh, access 181 here in Alexandria, invite a friend to watch with you. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you soon.